This past Thursday, MLS announced that they were going to be partnering with Box to Box Films to create a new eight-part documentary series on the 2024 MLS season. The new eight-part panoramic documentary event, currently in production, offers both dedicated fans and new audiences, probably the new Messi fans that are coming into the league, a new definitive never seen insider's view into the league while spotlighting all the biggest moments of the 2024 season with unprecedented access to players, coaches, and teams. This series takes fans to the most compelling storylines and other adrenaline pumping moments and captivating personalities of the 2024 season, from preseason to a MLS Cup. And while some people are hoping this series has the same effect as Got to Survive had on Formula 1, which gained more followers and is a more followed, uh, should say, league or sport, I don't think this documentary will have the same effect. But you start two things. First, Formula 1 is a different, completely different sport. So you can get new fans into new sport. But can you get new fans into a, another league of the same sport that many are already following. You, many people follow soccer or football, but they follow the top five leagues. So, are you gonna get them to view a inferior product, a league that isn't in the top ten, not yet at least? So, are you gonna get them to watch that league when they can watch the other top five, La Liga, Premier League, Serie A, Bundesliga, just with this documentary and having Messi and Jordi Alba and Suarez and Hopefully, a few other stars that come into the league. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think that documentary will be more for the light hair fans that really want to see a big documentary, a big kind of film made on MLS and kind of see the behind the scenes of your favorite players and coaches more than captivating the casuals. But that's just my opinion. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this absolutely explodes and more people get into MLS because it's a, a great league. Only time will tell, and we'll likely have to wait about a year or two until the documentary is actually finished because they're filming it this season. So let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss more Amalas news.